I know you want a healthier body And you want to ease your soul, ease your soul. So here's some medicine to heal the world So grow with herbs for health Welcome back to another episode of Herbs for Health you guys, I am back. I know I haven't made a video in a few weeks, um, but I'm back now and I have a lot of content for you guys, so just stay tuned. Now, I did just post a video, which was the herb of the week, so make sure you check out that video. And in that video, I am talking about the Siberian Ginseng. You really want to know what that herb do, so definitely check out that video. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about how fast food affects our bodies. Um, there's so much information out there about fast food and how it, how it affects our body. But I thought that I would bring it to the people who support me and give you guys this information. And now before we do get started here, I just want to show you guys something. I don't know if you notice, but look at the shirt. <laughs> Let me back up just a little bit so you can see it. You see what it says? I'm a herbalist. I'm a herbalist. Let's talk natural. And you can see my little um, my logo there and my Instagram. So it is is a very nice shirt. I decided to design this shirt. Because you don't see a lot of shirts out there for like herbalists. You may see I'm a doctor, I'm a uh, pharmacist, I'm a nurse, you know, things like that. So I thought this was um, pretty dope. I designed it myself. So let me know how you guys like it down below. So let me scoot up here and then we will get started. Okay. So let's get started. All right, all right. So we're talking about how fast food affects the body now a lot of us eat fast food here and there however often you eat it there are some people who eat it every single day and this is how they survive now we know that fast food isn't good for us in general but we need to know why it's not good for us. Uh, you know, we go to these fast food restaurants because they're fast and convenient. Uh, you may have not cooked for that day and you're always busy, so you grab something. So we're gonna be talking about that. All right, so I'm gonna be looking down here because I do have my notes, because um, I actually did some research and I typed a lot of things up so let's dive into it so my question is or a lot of people question is what is fast food okay so when we think about fast food we think about a lot of chain restaurants that you can go to McDonald's Burger King Pizza Hut Rallies um Little Caesars and oh Hardee's um I'm guessing there's more out there. Oh, KFC, uh, Chick-fil-A. Uh, you know, it's, it's so many out there. And depending on where you live, you may have a lot, lot more that you know I haven't even heard of. But there's so many fast food restaurants out there. And people are consuming so much of it every single day. But fast food basically is a type of mass produced food um, designed for, like we said, commercial restaurants, the resale. Um, basically, it's placed there for the speed and convenience service that it offers. So, you know, these things are, you know, made in a factory with science most of the time. And so that's one thing you want to keep in mind. When you think about all of these places that sell fast food and how they're able to, you know, 
get the food out to you so fast. Um, I know Chick-fil-A, um, they're, they're, they're usually very, very fast. But you know, a lot of these restaurants get this food out to you so fast. But when you think about how much time it takes to cook and prepare a meal when you're at home, compared to going not to get fast food, one would say, I would rather go and pick up food than cook because I'm hungry now and I got a lot to do and I would rather have it ready. But you need to consider your health. So one thing you wanna ask yourself, or a lot of people may wanna know, what's in fast food? Now, fast food ingredients often include a lot of salt, sugar, and processed chemicals. Okay, so with a lot of um, salt and the sugars and all the chemicals that may be in uh, this type of food that you get from restaurants that's considered fast food, it's also linked to health issues that a lot of us, especially here in America, suffer from, which is obesity, uh, obesity, <laughs> diabetes, heart disease, and even cancer. So think about that. Why food, when you're eating food, it should be healing your body, not making you sick. So, you know, you wanna consider changing the way you eat and stay away from these heavily processed fast foods because you know at the end of the day the more these things that you consume the more the body becomes acid you get sick you, you may get um headaches we'll talk about those things later okay so again like we said i, I named a few things that are in fast food so one of the number one things that um, a lot of fast food restaurants have in their ingredients is sugar. Now, most of the time, you know, you don't understand why you have these sugar cravings. And it's because a lot of the foods that has been processed have added sugar. And so almost every food product from that you get from fast food restaurants, from the sauce and the dressings, the batter, the bread, has sugar in it. Now, eating too much sugar can cause health issues. And like I said before, it is linked to diabetes, um, cardiovascular disease, and obesity. Now, um, sugar can also be addictive. Like I said, you often wonder why you have these sugar craving because you're eating foods that have tons of sugar added to it so we're over consuming all of these things and sometimes over consuming sugar guess what that can sometimes be linked to depression now the um sugar ingredients it also appears in different uh different names it could be 50 different names so it could be high uh fructose uh corn syrup agave nectar molasses they are also sugar as well so when you're going to restaurants you know and even the grocery store when you check the ingredients there you may see some of these things on the boxes and so this is this kind of makes things a little harder because we're also consuming foods that we may find in the grocery store that have all of these additives as well. Another thing, when you think about fast food, another ingredient is fat. Fast food has a lot of fat in them. Now, when I say fat, you know, we have the healthy fat um, that can come from vegetables like avocado and things like that. Those are typically healthy types of fats that you want to consume. But when it comes to fast food, you have something called trans fat, which occurs when liquid oils are turned into solids. Okay, now trans fat are added to fast food products to help them last longer. Now, also trans fat can increase 
unhealthy or bad lipto uh, lip lipo proteins okay so we're dealing with uh, it can increase bad cholesterol so you have a lot of things um, that you can point out in fast food restaurants that have these trans fats and one of them would be cheese and red meats. Um, it contains a lot of those saturated fats and it's very bad for your cholesterol. So another ingredient that fast food restaurants typically have in all of their products is sodium salt lots and lots of salt so it is commonly used to flavor or enhance um any type of you know cooking you do at home but in fast food however uh, the sodium is used as a preservative um basically to extend the uh shelf life of the product so they can keep these foods in their restaurant for longer than expected so it doesn't expire um like your food would do at home so you know adding all of this sodium preserves the meat or um the fries or whatever they have in that store so that it can have you know or a um extensive shelf life okay and it also does enhance the taste which also becomes addicting um, lots of people say, I need more salt, I need more salt, because they're eating these high sodium, high sugary, high fat foods every single day. It's like your body craves it, and you, you know, you don't know how to um, get away from it, so you want more and more. Now, one fast food meal can include up towards, let's say, 1200 milligrams of sodium even 1300 milligrams of sodium just one meal alone that's a lot of sodium that you're consuming within a day well not even within a day you may have this meal two or three times a day think about that in in one meal you have 1200 um milligrams of sodium in that one meal and then you may go to another restaurant that same day to get your dinner and that's more sodium you're adding and we're going to see all of the things that can um, sodium can cause harm to our bodies in different parts of our organs and things like that all right so consuming foods that are high in sodium on a regular basis, especially if you eat it two to three times a day, is linked to high blood pressure. A lot of us suffer from high blood pressure, also diabetes and kidney disease. It's the sodium, the sodium, the salt, that um, your body may find hard to flush out. You know, your kidneys are um, being overwhelmed with all this sodium. So you really got to be mindful when you're thinking about what type of food I'm going to eat. You know, I would rather anyone cook at home. And if you want to eat out, maybe once a week. However, I would definitely say if you can create a lifestyle where you don't have to consume fast food at all, you know, create a plan to get you to that point where you can definitely depend on yourself to make all of your meals. You know, especially 